Hey there everyone, this is David with Black Badger Software Solutions. In this video, I'm going to answer the question, not so necessarily easily answered, of can Monday.com be used as a ticketing system? Now, the answer is, eh, maybe, kind of, yes-ish. To be clear, it is not a ticketing system. You cannot compare Monday to the likes of, you know, Zoho Desk, Zendesk, or some other premium purpose-built ticketing system. Now, that doesn't mean that I can't show you a couple things to how to make it work kind of like a ticketing system with a lot of the basic features, though not quite as advanced as some of those have, such as, let's say, easy ticket escalation and maybe modulating tickets based on various categories or uh, prioritization. Now, some of those things, you know, can kind of be done. But again, let's be clear, this is not a ticketing system, but it can be made to kind of work like one. So let's go into our Monday account. I'm in Monday work management. I'm going to use one of these templates and I'm going to type in ticket. I'm going to use the IT service desk template. Now there's a few automations you're going to need to make and think through in order to make this work. The first thing is you're going to want all tickets to come in through a form. This is going to make your life a lot easier uh, because you don't really have the option at this moment unless we tie in other, you know, an iPass platform, which is an integration platform as a service, such as Zapier, Make, etc. But let's just stick with Monday. I'm not getting into those products right now. So we're going to want a form. You're going to want the only items that are created on this board to come from a form. So whatever you want your form as, you can, you can edit your form here. I'm not going to edit it really just to show you this, but just say, all the tickets are created from a form, whether you want to embed it on your site or just share the URL. So what I'm going to say is that we're going to create an automation so that when an item is created, we're going to send an email. Let's just say you have Gmail set up, uh, or actually, you know, we have Outlook. So I'm going to do it through Outlook. Now, what you're going to want to do here, here's a trick. Let's just say you want, uh, the purpose of this is to send an automated email saying, hey, your ticket's been received, it's being reviewed, etc. That's going to come from the email address associated to this login. So if I'm logged into, you know, David at Black Badger, or in this case, I'm in Damien's account, Damien at Black Badger, this, automa this automation will send an email from my or Damien's account. I would suggest, especially if you wanted to look a little more professional, maybe you get a, you know, ticketing or do not reply or create an email address, assign it a monday.com user license, and we would create these automations and integrations through that license. So it looks a little easier. It looks a little more professional, you know? So let's just say that I was in support at blackbadger.biz, which we do actually have an account for, but not in this. So I'm just going to pick Damien, but let's just say we did support at your email domain, send an email, your ticket. Hey, whenever they put their name as, we are letting you know your ticket has been received and we will update you as this progresses, whatever you want to say. And then you send it to the email column, request your email. So I would create that automation. I would also, again, if you want to create a series of automations such as when the status changes to ordered or waiting on approval, stuck or completed, whatever your custom statuses are, I would pretty much duplicate this automation to perhaps send updates out. Like we want you to know your, your ticket has been marked as done. And what you can also do is if you wanted to add a text column here after status, I'm going to add a long text column. I'm going to call this what was done and say, we did so and so to fix this issue. So what I would do is create that automation where when status changes to done, send that email saying, hey, person's name, 
we wanted to let you know this task is done. And this is what, what these are the actions that were taken to complete it. And then I would put what was done. So we'll take all that long text, put it in the email so they know. And if you have any questions or whatever, you can answer this or, you know, write another email, whatever. All right, now that we wrote that content of the email, we're going to have it go to the request for email column and create that automation. So now here's where it can get a little tricky. So Monday's ability to then take said emails in and having like a constant dialogue back and forth and properly adjusting the statuses is where it can get a little tricky because certain automations will create a perpetual loop of changes and so it can get quite messy. So I'm gonna give you a couple recommendations on that. The first I'm gonna do say is you're gonna to wanna to go into the item view, make sure that you have emails and activities. Now what we're going to do is we're gonna to go to integrate. There we go, emails and activities. And I'm going to pick one of these, which is I would probably pick when incoming email received from email column, move item to group. That way, when you do get a new email in, you can modulate it and have it move back to answer received. And at least someone has to now look at it and verify, did they just answer back saying, great, thanks? Or did they say, I still have problems? Monday's email capabilities are not defined enough to say and modulate that. Again, it could be done with third-party applications, but I'm just talking about strictly within the confines of Monday's native abilities right now. So I would use something like that, or when an email is sent to this column set status. So let's say they write you a new email and I would set the status to answer received. So someone would know that there is a new email to be seen there. And that way you can at least know what's happening with the email moving forward. And let's say you mark it as done. It moves to the done category and then they write back again. Maybe they write back saying this isn't, this isn't fixed. They write back weeks or months later, or they just acknowledge you saying, great. And now it pops back up out of done and you want to know what's happening. So then again, you can see it's not like the perfect ticketing system, but yes, it can work. You do have some options here. I might also suggest other things like when an incoming email is received, start time tracking. Maybe you want to track time on how long it takes to handle every tickets. You're going to run into a couple issues with that one because you're not going to know exactly what that email is. And again, in the example below, someone might acknowledge you saying, yeah, sure, thanks. And it's done. Time tracking will start again. So we may need to modulate or create some odd things, uh, odd automations, uh, you know, normal, a normal ticketing system could know about. But in this case, is not perfect for monday.com. So I hope this gives a quick high level understanding that yes, Monday can be used as a ticketing system, although it is not a purpose built product for that. So again, if you need any help with this or you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'd be happy to answer. Or if you really are set on using Monday as a ticketing system and you need help setting it up or any other features within Monday, you can use the form below. We can schedule a free strategy session and show you how to best utilize this platform for optimal efficiencies with you and your team. So please like, subscribe, and follow. I hope you enjoyed this content and you know your likes and follows will definitely help push me to make more of this content because I hope it is enjoyable. And with that being said, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Thanks.